At least it's open for business. How to get your cannabis license in Michigan. Cannabis licenses in every state of the country tend to be tricky. Michigan is no exception to that rule. The industry is growing fast and medical and recreational cannabis are both available in Michigan. And the results of getting a cannabis license are probably going to be worth it as it is one of the very few states where it's actually open for business. Hello, I'm Tom, a cannabis lawyer. You can find on Cannabis Legalization News on YouTube and your favorite podcast provider. Smash them thumbs up today if you are into Michigan cannabis. Let's talk about how you can get a cannabis license in the mitten or in the UP. Now, strict attention to compliance issues and regulations are always required for the, any process. I don't care what state you're trying to get a license in. And since the frameworks for cannabis businesses in Michigan are still being outlined, expect changes in the rules for applications and everything may end up changing over the course of the next five years. They might reach what a lot of the other states do out west and then there's just moratoriums that start popping up. Those aren't here yet. So let's cover the types of cannabis licenses that you can apply for in Michigan. For both medical marijuana and also recreational marijuana programs, the licenses available in Michigan are the grower's license. This license allows selling marijuana to licensed dispensaries and licensed processors. For this type of license, there are three classes. A is a grower license for 500 marijuana plants. B is a grower's license for 1,000. And C for 1,500 marijuana plants. Processor. The license includes selling to other licensed processors and dispensaries for processing marijuana and then selling it to licensed medical marijuana users or adults. The retailers. You can get a marijuana dispensary license. You can sell medical marijuana or other marijuana products. Now, these also include plants and seedlings. Retail stores cannot allow on site consumption of marijuana unless they have a specific type of licensing. More on that later. Secure transport is also another different type of license that you can get, and that authorizes storage and transportation of marijuana and its money between facilities. There's also a provisioning center. Now, a license can authorize the sale of marijuana to a registered qualifying patient or registered primary caregiver. There's a safety compliance facility. This license authorizes a facility to receive marijuana from, test marijuana for, and return marijuana to only a marijuana facility or registered primary caregiver. So what's the process to apply for a license in Michigan? Now, the Michigan Department of Licensing and Regulatory Affairs, commonly referred to as LARA, L-A-R-A, is the agency in charge of issuing licenses to cannabis operators. They are using a two-step program for cannabis licensing applications in Michigan. This type of two-step program should be followed in other states, for example, Illinois, Florida. So, Step one, there is the pre-qualification. Now this allows applicants to begin the application process while still seeking a location for the proposed marijuana facility. It starts by filing an entity slash individual pre-qualification packet. This packet must include a passport type photo, a copy of your government issued ID, and all other supporting documentation. It encompasses a full background investigation of the applicant and supplemental applicants. Isn't this, doesn't this make sense? Shouldn't we screen to see if you can get in before you can actually get in? But anyway, you'll have to pay a non-refundable fee of $6,000 at the time of filing to defray the costs associated with the background investigations and the fingerprinting process. The application fee must be paid before the application can be processed. Once you've completed the packet and collected all the required documentation, submit your pre-qualification either in person by mail or through Lara's online application portal. So let's move on to step two, the license application. When the applicant will identify the specific facility for which they are applying, grower, processor, provisioning center, safety compliance, in the facility license application, also known as the FLA, and provide information and supporting documentation specific to the license sought. If applying for more than one facility license, a separate FLA will need to be completed. You'll be required to provide the same information you submitted during the pre-qualification phase with information regarding the municipality in which you operate. Businesses' specifications may include an estimated open date for your dispensary, proof of premises ownership or a lease agreement, estimated gross annual income, a marijuana facility plan, a cannabis retail marketing plan, a cannabis product inventory and record keeping plan. See, still a lot of the same plans that other competitive states require. But what about with Michigan? What are the number of licenses allowed in the Michigan cannabis industry? That's one of the great things about getting a cannabis license in Michigan is that contrary to many other states, it does not have a license cap. 
However, one of the not good things about the cannabis licenses in Michigan is that local municipalities can choose to ban or limit the number of businesses. This is fairly common. It arose over in California where you can opt out. Illinois has opt out aspects of it as well. So does Michigan. So currently in Michigan, there are around 500 medical marijuana licenses and about 170 recreational licenses. But this industry is just getting bigger and stronger and their sales numbers are exceeding expectations. And, and not only that, you know, the, the prices for premium flour are fairly stable in the Mitten state, in the uh, Detroit state, in the uh, land of more lakes than Minnesota, but people don't know that state, you know, Michigan. So let's, let's talk about how much does it cost for a cannabis license. Now, of course, that all depends on what type of cannabis license you want for the operation. And what do you mean by cost? Do you just mean the license fees in Michigan, which could be from about $4,000 for the grower of an A-class, up to $40,000? Of course, these need to be renewed every year, so you bake those into your financial pro formas. And of course, you still have a lot of regulation and tax hurdles, so you have to spend tens of thousands of dollars a year on professional fees, like lawyers and accountants. So what are the requirements to be able to apply for a license? When the law first passed in 2019, the board set forth the following requirements for a dispensary owner. No felony within 10 years. No misdemeanors involving controlled substances within five years. No local ordinance violations within five years, at least 21 years old. And you must also make any disclosures regarding any past law enforcement or legal violations, but not including traffic violations. These types of regulations will probably be updated fairly regularly. In Nevada, they're on the third regulator in like five years. So either way, you need to get in touch with a cannabis lawyer that can assist you in providing an excellent application to Michigan so that you can get your Michigan cannabis licenses without any undue delays. So let's talk about the state tax requirements in medical marijuana in Michigan. It's 6% for the sales and use tax. And for recreation, there is a 10% excise tax plus a 6% sales tax. Now, what about can you sell your cannabis license in Michigan? No, not really. Uh, each license is exclusive to the license type issued and to the license holder. The attempt to transfer or sale or convey an interest in that license without the state's approval is gra grounds for suspension, revocation, or another appropriate sanction. Buying and selling cannabis licenses in Michigan or any other state can be very, very tricky and call for creative solutions and you're going to have to work in conjunction with the state regulators. So if you have any more questions about cannabis in Michigan, drop them in the comments, give us a thumbs up when you're down there, and then head on over to Cannabis Industry Lawyer and get in touch with me. Until next time, I will see you on Cannabis Legalization News.